This is a more realistic picture of a power panel, using breakers. I've indicated where the hot leads and neutral are coming from, ultimately the utility. There is a couple of things to note with this power panel. There is no main breaker, which probably means, this is a sub-panel being fed from a main breaker panel. Because the neutral lead from the utility is connected to only one neutral bus bar, in this example, on the right-hand side, there is a jumper, to connect it to the bus bar on the left-hand side of the panel. This is usually a built-in connection of the power panel. Looking at the incoming connections from the utility, and measuring the voltages over time. Remember, voltage is a measurement of the potential difference between two points. Let's measure that voltage, between the hot terminal A, with respect to the neutral. As you see, it rises to a maximum of 120 volts positive, then returns to zero, and goes to minus 120 volts, and back to zero, and repeats itself. It will do this 60 times a second. Let's repeat the measurement, this time, of the hot terminal B, with respect to the neutral. As you see it goes to a maximum of minus 120 volts and back to zero and repeats itself. It also will do this 60 times a second. Quite evident, is the fact that the voltages are out of phase with each other. In fact, they are 180 degrees out of phase with each other. That means, if we take the measure of the potential difference between the two hot terminals, the result would look like this. This is the potential difference between the two hot terminals A and B, with respect to each other. As you see, it rises to a maximum of 240 volts positive, then returns to zero, and goes to minus 240 volts and back to zero. And repeats itself. It will do this 60 times a second. Stay tuned to this site, the next nugget that I release will be a continuation of this video, where I will be diving into more detail of the essential rules. In the meantime, as a bonus and in the way of a thank you for your continued interest, I'm making available my 50-page electrical power crib sheets, if you haven't already taken advantage of downloading them. These were prepared for use with my courses. There is one section associated with each course, and are extremely valuable while viewing the course, as well as a recall of the pertinent formulas and information after the fact. The contained information is also useful during any technical career as a quick reference from time to time. Simply fill out the information requested, when you go to this website. HTTPS, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase bit, dot, ly, forward slash, 4, 7, uppercase y, uppercase b, 3, lowercase v and lastly lowercase h. As I said in the beginning, stay tuned for future releases on this site that will provide you with more tantalizing nuggets of what is available in my courses. You can also directly access my stand store courses, at this website. HTTPS, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase stan, dot, store forward slash, uppercase g, uppercase v, uppercase b.